The Buy Local movement could not save one east side business after more than three decades of providing a major part of our diet to Rhode Islanders. One man has decided to put up the close sign for good. Iowa News supporter Nicole Estefan joins us from Providence, new at 11. It was certainly an emotional day here for the Saravios. After three decades of being an integral part of this east side community, they said goodbye to their most faithful customers. As customers stopped by this Eastside store for the last time, there were hugs, thank yous, but not a dry eye around. I'm already crying and I didn't plan to, so yeah. yeah. <laughs> Susan Hirsch and her husband were just two of a never-ending flow of customers we witnessed stop by just to say goodbye to the owner of J.A. Saravo Fruit, Joe Saravo. This is my man. This is my best recipe. You know, some people have mafia do it. I have Joe Saravo. <laughs> For more than three decades, Joe has opened up these doors, welcoming customers with a smile, and we're told so much more. Kind of like a cheers. We always say we could do a sitcom here, but um, really it's, it's the people that have been our customers that have just really be, we formed friendships with them. His wife, Noelle, says as these shelves emptied over the last week, the store filled with those familiar faces. I went through a half a roll of paper towels <laughs> crying because, uh, you know, you just... These people are just so special to us. For Joe, on the last day, you could see his hesitation to say goodbye. A hundred percent. Of course I'm going to miss it. Yeah. Sad moment. Yeah, but the 69-year-old who worked 80 hours a week tells us he decided to close up shop to give his body some rest. As he bagged up some of the sour in life, there were some sweet moments, even some offers from those who are sad to see this local store close. Some people have offered to, to work a few hours a day to give him a break if we'd stay. <laughs> As for Joe, he certainly won't be sitting still. He already has plans to do some part-time work with family in other parts of the state. In Providence, with the Mobile Newsroom, Nicole Estefan, Eyewitness News.